All right, let's go ahead and set up a health system for our players so that when they get uh, hit by a projectile from another player, then they lose health. All right, now that all starts in our base character. So if you want, you can go to blueprints, characters, open up your base character. I keep mine open up here. I closed a lot of mine, so it would be less confusing for you guys. But I'm just going to go to my base character. I'm going to create two new variables. I'm going to say uh, current health. And you know what? I'm going to do a capital C. It doesn't have to be a capital C current health. There we go. Make sure that it is a float. So click on that little uh, capsule there and do float. And now we're going to add another one. And this is just going to be max health. OK, and this is also going to be a float. And uh, one other thing we want to do with these is we want to make sure they're both replicated. This all happens on the server and it needs to be replicated to the clients. OK, very important to do. Both current health and max health are replicated. Then what we're going to do is uh, compile, save. And if you notice, for our current health, we have a spot here now that we can put a value in. Let's just do 100. So for 100 health and then max health, let's do 100. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do some coding and I can uh, or scripting and I can do that anywhere really. So I'm just going to do it right here. I'm going to first create a uh, well, I don't have to create it in a custom event because they have something built in to Unreal that we can use. And I'm just going to say uh, event and it's called any damage, any damage. There it is under add event game damage event any damage. And I'm just going to first come down here actually and drag out my current health. And we're going to get that value. We're getting that value. Then I'm going to drag off this and I'm going to say float minus float. And it should auto complete. So I don't have to do the whole thing. Float minus float. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, actually, actually, you know what we can do? We can drag off of current health out here. And instead of get, we're going to set it. And let's go ahead and drag this and connect that to that and connect this to current health. So now if there's any damage, what it does is actually we're going to take this and connect it to here. So if any damage comes in, it takes that amount and it subtracts it from the current health. OK, so the current health is 50. Let's say the damage that comes in is 10. It subtracts it. You have 40 and then it sets that as the current health value. OK, so that's how that works. We can compile that and save it. Now what we're going to do is we need to go over to our projectile. So let's go ahead over to our projectile and I'm going to just do my base projectile. So I'm going to game map. I'm going to go to blueprints, projectiles, go to my base projectile. And inside here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom event. So let's go ahead and just right click anywhere inside here. And I'm just going to say um, cust add custom event. There we go. And this one, let me zoom in, is going to be apply projectile damage. So we're applying damage here. The projectile applies the damage and the player uh, receives the damage. Uh, apply projectile damage. Projectile damage. There we go. And this has to be replicated on the server. Anything to do with health gets replicated on the server because that actually gets spread out to all the clients and you can't cheat. And let's make that reliable. And now what we're going to do is off of this, there's another built in function that's apply damage, which gets run on the server. It's right here. It's under game damage, apply damage, just like that. And uh, oh, it's asking for certain things. The damaged actor. Uh oh, we need to tell it what the damaged actor is. So we're going to click on this and add an input. And we're going to say damaged actor. And I'll show you where we actually get that value from because it's just all this is is an output and this is an input. But this is a custom event that we set up. So we need to figure out where we're going to get that information from. And I'll show you where we get it in a second. But this needs to be of a certain type. So let's just move this in. Click on this little down arrow here and say actor. Come down under object types to actor. And we need the object reference. It's light blue. That's very important. It's light blue. Okay. Now we can connect these up. That's light blue. That's light blue. Boom. Just like that. And it's saying, OK, what's the damage amount? Well, we want that to be a variable because we want each projectile that we've created to deal a different amount. So I can right click on that and I can promote it to a variable, but just means create a variable. And now I'm going to whoops, drag this down right here and I'm going to call this um, damage amount. There we go. Oops, looks like I already had it in there. That's okay. I'm just going to delete that other one and call this one damaged amount so you guys can see. 
damage amount, boom. And let's just go ahead and replicate it just like that. We can compile, save, and then we can put a value in here. This is just a value for our base. So like if we were trying to shoot our base, our base uh, projectile, which has nothing, um, it could have a default one in there, like uh, we'll say 20, or it replicates to all the children. So they would all have a default of 20. Okay, so I want to change that though based on what child I'm or what child projectile I'm using. So right now, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go over to my game map and I'm going to open up my carton projectile and uh, we're going to put in some code here. So I need to select my box here, the box collider for each one of these. I'm going to scroll down and to the events and we're going to click the plus next to on component begin overlap and uh, drag off here and we want to say uh, apply projectile damage there it is call function remember that was in our base projectile so we have full access to it and now what we need to do is we need to say other actor so uh, the on component begin overlap detects what the actor is it that it collided with or that it overlapped with which is the player so we need to take that information and feed it in there so we're taking an output and feeding it into an input in the base projectile, it's taking an output then and feeding it into the input and telling it what actor to apply that, what player to apply that damage to. Okay. So uh, now what we can do is compile that. And now there's one last thing that we need to do, and that's go up to our carton projectile self. Let's open this up. And if we go down or up to the amount, we can say, okay, how much do we want to give it? How much damage does our carton? Well, carton is cardboard. So I'm just going to give it five. I already had that in there, but just put five in there. And now I can do the exact same thing that I just did here for my, let's say my barrel. So go to my gameplay map, double click to open my barrel, click on my capsule uh, collision, scroll down to the event section, look for the on component begin overlap, click the plus, drag off of here, you remember what it was yeah apply projectile damage call function there it is right there connect up our other actor to our damage actor compile save go up to the barrel uh, projectile self scroll up to the default or down to the default section and tell it how much you want to give it and since my barrel is a lot bigger i'm going to give it 40. Okay, so that's it. Go ahead and get that all set up and hopefully in the next one, we'll be creating something to take us one step further to actually seeing our health work. All right, so have some fun and I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, don't forget to save. Save all.